Hello, um, thank you for joining me for this interview. My name is uh, Emrys Kissel. First, uh, I would like to ask you a couple of starter questions. Uh, may I have your name and what you do as a profession? Yes, my name is Katrina Zahirovich Marinovich. Uh, I'm officially by school and by profession architecture interior designer an artist. However, I'm not working in my profession. I work for USCIS Immigration as an officer. Oh, very cool. Okay. So I was curious, what influences your art? Is there a theme that you like to focus on or maybe a variety of inspirations? Um, actually, there is always variety. I, I like to search for the modern influence. I like new technology, modern technology. And I like uh, using my expression through metaphoric, uh, through metaphors, through uh, kind of transfer my mind through metaphoric uh, presentation or to look like abstract and then how they say everything is a view of eyes of the viewer. So, yeah. Do you have a favorite piece that you've made? <laughs> Same like a child, everything that uh, one person created, everything is a favorite. However, uh, there's a piece that I create uh, that is very symbolic for the woman, that represents the woman who is, uh, is the, my art piece name is a lady, and it's representing a boat with a, a large mask on front and a, a town with bridges. And uh, that lady actually represents like a fish, but this look like ladies from Renaissance type with her head. And she representing the world that she created from her heart and from the uh, sky above looking down at her children and fishes. Uh, what inspired you to become an artist? Um, actually, it's hard to say because I, I have been scratching, uh, doing some sculpture or painting since I was a little child. I was always in school participating in different sections for art as a little artist. And then we did exhibits during the art classes and stuff. And my teacher always uh, pushed me to, you know, uh, you can do more uh, tapestry, everything that was involved, I created uh, dolls and everything. So um, uh, my, my, I kind of start to realize that about when I was 10 years old, to start paying, paying more attention to it. But um, uh, I was in war during the recent war in uh, Sarajevo in Croatia, also in Bosnia and um, Slovenia, and that was my big inspiration to to transfer hard part, how you can say, through the world. But that's why my, my art doesn't have too much color, because uh, it just, everything is, again, reflected through viewers. But the hardest thing is to represent something uh, such sensitive, but with no color. So um, using my technique, I just try to express that war, war situation that I went through. Yeah. Um, and uh, what is the process like for creating your art? Would you be willing to walk me through some of the steps? Yes. I so. Um, Long time ago, um, before I had my exhibit in Seattle, uh, 2000, about 2006, I came up with the idea to create my own um, structure that will be sustainable and to uh, last for a long, long time. So I created plaster, gypsum, uh, gas, uh, and mesh together, and I start to create with my hand. That's how my art become like it's still staying there for 27 years and it's never moves it's, it's just one of my techniques so for example when i create a, a lady or 
that uh, piece that's called family, white long one. Uh, it is quite a long process because uh, first you need to, of course, create in your mind what you want. Then you, with the gypsum and plaster, you create a structure. Um, then there's a drying process. Then there's a sanding process. Then there's the uh, painting process. And then there's a touch-up process that's giving depth and and uh, different kind of uh, angles for the four hall project. Would you say, I think we've, we've talked about this a little bit, um, but would you say being an immigrant has affected the way you create your own art? Um, yes and no. You know, you have that in yourself. When you're in good mood, you create something different, unrelated, like in everything else. When you're in good mood for eating spaghetti, you create spaghetti. When you want to have something glamorous, then you do something. And when you're in a bad mood, that the war and all that go go ta come in the mind, and then I create something uh, which is not so happy memory-wise, but 